Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning With this, let's go for the next requirement. Um, that one actually appears kind of arbitrary to me, but sometimes requirements of customers are arbitrary, so let's go for it. The idea is that um, any number bigger than a thousand um, are mapped to the last three digits. Thousand maps numbers above thousand to last three digits, which means um, if I invoke the string calculator some method with say 1002, this should result in 2. Execute, of course it doesn't, currently it's 1002, but it's pretty simple to implement actually, um, because I can't just filter that here. One quick change, by the way, this should be get numbers. Get numbers, filter, or actually not filter, I don't want to filter, I want to map. I want to map uh, every number to itself modulo 1000. We execute the tests, that works. Now actually I'm going to reintroduce some new lines here. Anyways, uh, this works and of course it also works for uh, multiple numbers here, so say 1040 and 10002 is 42. Re-execute, there's errors. Why is there an error? Because I again messed up the braces. Now it's... no, it's not working. Input string... Oh, I added a space here. That should not be. Okay, now it's working as I expected. The next requirements uh, focus again on the delimiters. Um, first thing I want to test, because that came to my mind before, is um, having a delimiter that is actually a uh, special character in regular expressions because I'm using the delimiter with the string split method and that one takes an, a regular expression I guess that my logic fails if I use a regular uh, special character for regular expressions as the delimiter let's find it out um, uses special Reg x character as delimiter or let's let's just make this another case in here as a that string calculator sum let's use dot which is one arbitrary character uh, 2.3 dot one is six we execute that and in fact it fails. Expected six but was zero. So something went wrong. Fortunately I have a pretty clear idea of what's going wrong here. Um, so let me quickly factor this one out. Start with factoring this out. Um, into a variable called header, pulling this one out into a method, say parse header or parse delimiter from the header. I can inline this again um, and say we want to pattern quote that. So all the special characters are just quoted and now it should work again. Right. 
Well, as I said, next requirements are also about um, the delimiters. I should be able to use a multi-character delimiter. Um, accepts multi-char delimiter or accepts delimiter of arbitrary length. Let's call it that way. I think that's more easy to understand what the test does. So assert that string calculator dot sum if I start that with um, brackets and say star 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 as a delimiter for example new line and then one star 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 two star 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 three that should be six uh, I forgot to close the quotes here okay but it does not work currently because it cannot uh, handle um, delimiters with more than one character um, especially it cannot currently use this uh, bracket syntax here so I already factored this one the logic out put this into a variable delimiter yeah it doesn't matter um, delimiter and say if the delimiter starts with a bracket then delimiter is actually a substring of delimiter that starts at the second character and stops one character before the end right and I want to return that now it's not pattern coded anymore uh, delimiter equals delimiter re-execute that actually works I'm still content with the implementation so I go back um, that's fine with me the next requirement coming up here is that I can actually use multiple um, delimiters accepts multiple delimiters assert that string calculator sum with a slash slash and then say whatever minus and semicolon new line so one minus two semicolon three should be six This of course fails because it uses the whole thing here as a delimiter which is never found so it never splits anything. Thing is uh, I can use the same trick I already used in the very beginning where I declared uh, two alternatives for um, the delimiter namely comma new line here. Um, what I essentially need to do is replace this uh, closing bracket opening bracket by a pipe but um, currently this is not just a string replace because afterwards the thing will be quoted and I cannot have it quote the the pipe otherwise it will not be treated as an alternative but, but as the character itself so I'm going to fall back to streams I think say I cut the first and the last character and then I say delimiter dot split on closing bracket opening bracket I escape the opening bracket here because opening bracket is again a special character in regex um, I split that then I say stream of this thing here and I actually want to map all the, the strings in there to pattern quote uh, colon colon so all the separators themselves are quoted and then I use the collection idea again collectors dot joining and join 
the separators by pipe. So I have a string again and I can return that very string. Question is, I can actually pull that out here, right? Let's let's just try it with in. Okay, that works in general. I think I can pull it out here. And in fact, I can. So if there's uh, brackets, I just remove the brackets. And then I use the very same logic for both cases, because if there's no closing bracket, opening bracket in there, it will just split into a stream that contains just the one uh, pattern. This is quoted. Join, joining of one means doing nothing, returning the one, uh, and that works. Put that into new lines, so it's a little more readable. Nice. So last thing I want to ensure here is that this also works with delimiters of arbitrary length. So let's say string calculator sum and let's think of something fancy, minus minus, um, dot dot dot. For example, uh, new line, one, let's do something else, two minus minus three dot 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 four, some other value than six for change, um, which is in fact nine, right? Let's see what happens. This test actually works. Quite nice. Let's go back to the code and have a look at it if we are content. So the static method sum here is our entry point. This one parses the input and then calls sum on the unreturned object. That looks pretty good. Parsing input means deciding whether there is a header or not. If there is a header, I split uh, the input into header and rest, which again I'm going to do header and number sequence. Then I'm going to parse the delimiter, which I will do by delimiter. Does that work? Yes, I guess this works. Uh, I pass the delimiter out of there and I create the string calculator from the delimiter and the number sequence. Otherwise, I create the string calculator from my default delimiters and the whole input. Okay, parsing delimiter means seeing, uh, removing the slashes, seeing if there is um, this, this bracket uh, syntax here, remove the first and the last, split it, in case there are multiples, quote all the um, delimiters and then join them by pipes to mark them as alternatives. Looks good so far, right? Um, then we have the call to sum, which ensures that there's no negative numbers. No negative numbers means we look if there are any negative numbers by creating the string we need for the exception, checking if the stream is not empty, then throw an exception. If that's not the case, so if there's no negative numbers in there, um, we actually take the number string we already computed and call the sum method on it. Yes, looks pretty good. I'm content with it. I thank you very much for watching this cutter series. I hope you liked it. Uh, if so, give me a thumbs up. Um, in any case, if you have feedback, ideas, uh, things I could improve on this code, um, drop me a message um, or a comment, let me know what you think and yeah, thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Programmers do Kung Fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning